Hi. Hi. How are you guys? Good, how are you? Looking dazzling. Awesome. Yeah. Uh, slate your sure. Name. It's no. uh, Mike Melindy with Rolling Out. You're looking dazzling too, by the way. So. I assumed you were talking to both of us. Oh, I was. Yeah. Absolutely. Yeah. Absolutely. Yeah. I was wrong too. Of course. <laughs> well, you guys look fantastic. So first of all, great film. You know, what's something that you were able to learn from Arnold? I mean, he's a guy who's got an amazing, incredible work ethic. Is there anything that you kind of just noticed and could appreciate and kind of just respected from an actor's point of view? He's so, I mean, I think his work ethic is the thing. He's just so dedicated on set. He's so game to rehearse stunts. And, and as long as he's there, he's so available to everybody to, to practice what you need to practice. But then his discipline with working out. I mean, this man has been training for mm, 60 years. Right. Yeah. And he doesn't miss a day. He just loves taking care of himself. And he loves training. And I think it's really wild, but amazing. For sure. Talk about your roles a little bit. I mean, it was so empowering to see you guys just in these kind of kick-ass roles. How does how did your previous roles on television kind of prepare you for this CGI, you know, larger-than-life action-packed film? I mean, I think you're, like, everything you you do kind of, you know, like, just gets in and, and you just, you're just preparing for the next project and learning, and learning from every project, theater, TV, mo movie, you're just learning. I think this movie, this is an action movie, it's my first, you know, like Hollywood movie, but also an action movie, so I think it's a, a new language I need to learn and that, that was the challenge for me doing this movie, you know, like to know and imagine many things but also to work with the previous and the director and you know it was it, all the training and the stunts and it was a it was a whole new world but that was exciting absolutely and for you was there any I don't, I mean, I agree with Natalia, it really was learning a new language, but at the, you're still doing the same thing, essentially, which is paring something down and being like, okay, how can this not be bullshit? What's the, the like, cleanest way of doing this? And then there's all these other things layered on top of it, and the stakes are higher than anything else you've ever done, and the explosions are bigger, but you're still kind of just trying to tell a, a story Absolutely. in a simple way. You know, it's correct me if I'm wrong, but neither of you were born here, right? You're mm -hmm. from... British Columbia as well. Mm -hmm. So I mean, just knowing where you've come from to knowing that you're here now, kind of living this American dream, is it everything that you thought it would be? And do you feel like that, you know, the sky is the limit? Or do you feel like that there's some limitations that you have to kind of, and barriers that you're coming across, just given the fact that you're coming from another country? Well, I think, you know, it's big for me, you know, the fact that this is, you know, I got the movie and I'm really proud, but uh, it also reflects, you know, the change of the world. I think the world's changing, and uh, we, like a, as a Latina, you know, we 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 feel misrepresented and underrepresented in in Hollywood and in, in the entertainment industry in general. So I think it's great that you know finally we get this character, and she's not. She, she has nothing to do with drugs or prostitution or nothing illegal. You know, she's a decent, brave character. Um, so, you know, I'm, I'm, I'm proud of that. And I think this is just, it, it was time, you know, and, and it is fair. And I think this is just the beginning of, you know, hopefully a better and bigger representation. Yeah. How proud um, do you feel like Colombia is of you? I mean, coming from Lady Love and that, uh, Rosa, mm -hmm. to hear, I mean, do you get a, like a warm, receptive welcome when you go home? I mean, like, what kind of feedback do you get from the people of Colombia? Yeah, I feel like I went to the World Cup. You know, like <laughs> we Colombians or Latinos in general, we are so passionate, and I feel there there's a collective feeling of faith or hope. You know, it's just like, yeah, if she made it, like, we can all make it, whatever. It doesn't have to be a Hollywood movie. It can be whatever, but I think it is really beautiful and... and great for me to have that feeling of, you know, like it's not only me, it's just the whole country. For sure, yeah. for sure. Well, thank you again for your time. We look forward to more of your work in the future. Thank you. You guys take care. Yeah, of course.